All right, welcome back to my channel. So it is Monday morning, it is 9.30 a.m. I figured I would vlog today. I already started off my day today. I went to Project School, taught two classes, just had a one-on-one -on -one, and now I am back and just answering some emails um, to work like my normal day job. So yeah, I just figured I'd vlog because I for once don't have meetings all morning today and I just feel like I have like random things to update you guys on, specifically like house stuff. And also, I want to show you some Isla movement stuff that I got. And yeah, I will talk about the house stuff in a little bit because there's some updates going on. But yeah, I don't know if this will be like a just one day vlog or maybe a few days to like kind of go through the house stuff. But anyways, let's go into Isla movement because I have some time now. Matt's at the gym and so it's like nice and quiet in here and I don't have to worry about him interrupting my try on. <laughs> so yeah i'm wearing one of the outfits right now but let me bring it over here okay so Susie, um i feel like this is weird if you like see my shadow <laughs> okay so Susie b on instagram has the brand i love movement which i reviewed before and she came out with a new collection called the mystic forest collection which is what i'm wearing now um, but I actually did buy some things during launch because, which isn't actually all Mystic Collection. During launch, I bought um, the sports bra in the new black color, which I already wore, and I'll show you all that. But I also um, actually ordered the shorts that launched um, a while ago in a size medium, and also these leggings in a size medium as well. Cause I have them both in a small, but I just think I feel better in a medium here because there is a top seam and just overall, I just feel better in the medium. And then I also haven't tried her Jill Crops yet. So I ordered that in Heather Charcoal, which actually is an older color. Um, Cause yeah, this fabric is just so soft and I've really just been living in it. So yeah, this is the set I'm wearing right now. So this is the cherry wood color and this top she came out with before, but she made some changes to it, which I really like and just feel so much more comfortable in it. Cause I don't know, just like, I guess just cause it's cold too. So this um, cutout is in here and then there's more coverage on the back, which I like. Um, so I do like carry fat on my back. So I do like how there's more coverage there. Um, and yeah, I'm just wearing my analogs. I just wore this to train this morning. And yeah, she gifted me this same set, but in black. Um, but she just gave me the, this sports bra in the cherry wood so i did buy it in the black because i really liked it and now i'm even thinking about buying it in the green because i really just been like living in this set i feel like it just is like such a cute athleisure set and it's just so comfortable to wear like all day especially personal training and stuff but yeah anyways so back to this i haven't tried this shirt on yet i'm gonna try this on and then i want to show you guys the difference between the small and mediums here because i think if i like the mediums I'm going to give away the smalls. So stay tuned for that because I mean, I did buy the shorts um, in like with my own money and stuff. So I could sell it, but I figured, you know, she did give me some stuff. So it would be nice to give away the smalls. Um, so yeah, let's try this on. I just lined up the smalls and mediums next to each other so you could see um, that difference there of the medium and then Seeing here this falls on top and then that difference of the medium there and also what i want to point out is the the first version of the suzy leggings have no crotch gusset but in the newer version she does have a smaller crotch gusset added and i think i do feel the difference i think it does feel better so i'm curious if she's going to redo the shorts um but i guess we shall see okay here is the sports bra it's so comfortable and let's try on the Jill Crop Tee, which is a size small. See, I think this is a good size. It has like nice oversized shoulders and sleeves, and it's just so soft, just like the leggings. And that is the length of the top. So yeah, you can tie it up here. All right, so let's try on the shorts because I'm really curious how the medium is going to fit. Okay, so they come like pretty long, but I usually just like bunch up the shorts. Let's see. Um, I just kind of wear them like this. So yeah, it's definitely way better than the smalls because like I said, the seam at the top, um, and I think I guess like my boots may have grown um, 
but yeah, like just my waist and overall body, I guess, grew. <laughs> so I think I'm definitely more comfortable in a medium. And the shorts, I think, fit a lot better. So yeah, like I said, the only thing is she did add a crotch gusset to the legging. So I think, like I'm wondering if I should just wait until she does that to the shorts too. But they're just so comfortable and I, I really like wearing them to the gym because it's just such comfortable material. <laughs> so I think I might just end up keeping these and giving away the smalls. I'll show you what the smalls look like just for reference if you are in between sizes so you know. I just felt like I worked out on them recently and like this seam along the back just felt too tight and also just like this seam around the glutes too. Okay so these are the smalls and like they definitely don't look crazy but I feel like you can tell like I am getting a little bit of camel toe just because the seam is a little bit tight around my glutes um, and then just like in the back too here I feel like it's a little bit tight on me. Um, like right now I feel kind of fine in them when I was working on in them the other week I just felt like they were feeling like really tight on me so I just think it's better to size up because it just feels like it's like too tight and it just looks like too tight on me so <laughs> sorry this like is I feel like I'm all over the place but now let me try on the medium leggings that I got so yeah, I just feel like the mediums fit perfectly on me now um, like yeah really nice they don't fall down at all just the amount of stretch and yeah they're like so stretchy and they're just like perfectly on me again these are the older ones so these actually are a shorter inseam here which i like having some shorter and some longer because the longer is good for the winter but if i'm doing like just incline walking or cardio or stuff i like to pick the shorter ones and these look really cute um with like air force ones and stuff like that when it's that length so yeah so with that being said i think i'm going to give away the small leggings and the small shorts. Okay, so since I am definitely gonna keep the mediums, I'm gonna give away the shorts and the leggings. So in order to just enter the giveaway, enter in or comment down below your Instagram handle and just follow me on my Instagram, which I'll put on the screen here. And then in about a week, I'll pick one person to give away the shorts and leggings to. So again, I'm sorry, it's kind of just in, like only for someone who's a size small, but just figured it'd be nice to give them away. So yeah, if you're interested, just comment your Instagram handle and then follow me on Instagram and I'll go through the comments in about a week and pick one of you to give it away. Only in the United States though, because shipping gets crazy outside of the United States. <laughs> okay, I figured since I have some time now, I'll like update you guys about the house and whatnot. But first also I'm drinking coffee. So um, if you follow me, you know I haven't really been having coffee for a long time but recently I started having it once in a while now I do let myself have a cup a day just because I do wake up early and like I just have so many things to get done um but I save my cup of coffee for when I'm up for a while um and I already had like so much water and stuff like that so it's not something I need to rely on like first thing in the morning because the issue was when the pand before the pandemic I was like super addicted to coffee and to the point where if I didn't have it or just caffeine to the point where I didn't have it I would get really bad brain fog and not even remember like my address and stuff like it was so bad so when the pandemic started I um like got rid of caffeine and yeah now I'm just letting myself have one cup so that I don't get that addicted to it where I get like sick <laughs> um anyway so with the house if you watch my last vlog you know we're starting to look at houses and yeah, so I um, literally check Zillow every hour, every day, <laughs> and I we have been touring. So the first house, I, I actually didn't even talk to you guys since we toured up my first house, um, because the first house that I toured was like literally my dream home in the town we wanted and everything. Um, but the issue was that it was just too soon, like we didn't have that much money to like buy a house like that like right away and it was already in a bidding war you know um because in my last vlog i'm pretty sure i said like how our timeline would be to lease our apartment one more year um so looking now would be more to like see what is out in the market and like looking for new construction or something to renovate not something like to move in like right now unless everything worked out perfectly but the i'm going to show you videos of this house it was literally our dream house i posted on my instagram story i got like so many dms too many DMs where I don't want to be posting anything on there anymore because people were asking like where it was and like how much it was and I just thought it was like very invasive. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we didn't, obviously like I said, it was too soon 
to jump into something like that because it was already at a bidding war and it was only posted for two days. So we just couldn't afford to do that yet. So yeah, that was just like amazing and it just like sucked because that was literally what I wanted. And I just felt like, oh my God, how am I gonna find something I like now? Um, yeah, so that was that. And also Matt was at a bachelor party that weekend. So like I was touring it with just my stepmom so he couldn't even see it. And he didn't even, he didn't even have that feeling of like, oh my God, like that was our dream house. Like, cause he didn't get to walk through it like I did. So yeah, that was just like tough. <laughs> um, but then the next weekend, basically we toured two houses in the towns that we wanted again. Um, but they were old, like pretty much older houses. One was older and I actually really liked the location cause it was next to one of my really old houses. Um, where I used to live and I just love that neighborhood and like the blocks it was on um, so I didn't take any videos there but I'll show you pictures of the listing of that so like obviously it's totally different style it's like older but like the kitchen was it looked way better in person because it was huge with high ceilings and everything um, and I really loved the kitchen even though like it was a totally different style than what I was thinking but in all it just ended up being way too much house it was way too much land um, and the reason why I retorted it is because it was a really good price for how much like land and property and everything it was. But it was just too much for us and we didn't need all that, like the, those many rooms and stuff. And um, we didn't like really like how the house was laid out. And then that same day we toured a house in like another town that we wanted and it had really good bones, like very, like we liked the layout and everything. But at the end of the day, like, the kitchen needed to be totally redone. Um, it was like a really janky kitchen, like two, the countertops were two different types of like colors even and like types of tops. <laughs> and then like the, the master was really weird because you had to, like the bathroom was huge, but we didn't like the layout of it. And then the, the closet for the master, you had to like walk through the bathroom too. And it just like didn't, the layout just didn't make any sense. So and, like the driveway was kind of small and stuff. So it, it was also priced really high for what it was. So our offer, like I, off, I literally said like to the agent, like we can offer this much because it would be that much more to renovate. And she was like, oh, we, already have, we already have an offer higher than that. And I was like, okay, like fine with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that. And then this past weekend, we toured a piece of land. And then we also toured another house right after that was like... Um, an older house, but obviously they're moving out. Um, so the piece of land, it was interesting because on Zillow it was originally listed for like a new construction house for a certain price, but then it looked like they relisted it as just the land. And then they also said like builder is this, there was a builder associated with it. Cause basically the real estate agent was a woman, um, who was, you know, promoting the land and then her husband is a builder. So we met the husband there, the builder, and yeah, I really liked him and the other guy, like they live in the area, they build so many homes in our area, and most importantly, their style was our style, which was like so amazing. Um, and they were finishing up a house down the road, so we were able to go down the road and walk through that house, which is great. So I'll put in like videos and stuff here of like his of that, that house because it'd be like a similar type of layout and obviously similar style and then also like pictures of this style as well like I just really like it so there was that I mean so that was that listing and then right after we went to another house and I didn't take anything there I'll put in pictures of that house it looks better online than it did in person in person it was like my least favorite house that we looked at so far and like all the other ones I could kind of imagine like oh we can maybe do this with it like you know, we can maybe be here, but this one, I just couldn't imagine that for a second. It was just like, they redid the bathrooms and the kitchen, but everything else was so outdated and just like, it was like almost like no matter what you did to the house, it just didn't feel like nice. And it was listed so high, you know? And it was just, yeah, it was like, why wouldn't I just spend like a little bit, like just a few hundred thousand dollars more for a brand new house, you know? Um, and yeah, so, that was on Saturday and now it's a Monday. And on Saturday after those listings, I told my agent like, we really want that new construction. Obviously like that's what we are looking for. So like, please talk to that agent. Cause like it was listed at different prices and like the price they were asking for right now is like 
definitely out of our budget. So I was like, can you please ask, like, you know, is there any way to work within our budget? So they did get back to us yesterday saying that the builders really liked Matt and I, and they um, did originally have it listed as something lower, but then the builder put in upgrades and that raised the price. So we can try to discuss um, like what to do to bring that price down. So I'm waiting, to, we're currently waiting to hear back about when is the time to meet with a builder for a conference call. I gave him times today and tomorrow. Um, so hopefully one of those works. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to update you guys because I thought it'd be fun because I know some people are interested and it'd be fun to like document that. Right now it sounds too good to be true. Um, like literally it's exactly what we want. The only thing is the move-in date would be in like the fall-ish time. So we wouldn't really do another year on our lease here. We would anything like this lease ends in May. So we would have to probably move back to our parents' house, which is totally fine. So we'll save money, but yeah, um, I'm just so interested to see what's going to happen there and like what um, upgrades we have to give up in order to lower the price of the house. Because um, I mean, when you move into your new house, you're not most likely you're not going to get everything you want right away. Um, like we want to put everything we have into it and then do upgrades down the road when we have more saved, you know, like the, he gave us the spec sheet last night. And one thing was, you know, they're putting in trees to line the backyard for privacy, but I'm like, you know, we don't need that right away. We can do that later down the road. Like that's not something we need right now. So that was one thing, but the other things on the specs, I don't know like what else they're going to say. So we shall see. Maybe I'll even record the conversation if it works out. But yeah, that's that. Now I really need to answer emails and stuff. I actually don't think I'm going to work out today because um, I have just work to do and I have meetings later. I have another client today and then I have a massage tonight because my back has been killing me after skiing. So it's also why I'm not going to work out because I just um, like I did solid core yesterday and yeah, I just want to get that massage before I start lifting heavy. Um, but yeah, so I'm having my coffee and I'm going to have some breakfast because I haven't eaten yet. So I'll show you what I'm going to eat. Okay, so this cereal I found at Acme, it's, and I have it at ShopRite too. It's so good. It is gluten-free, which a lot of times cereal like this is not gluten-free. So I'm going to have this with some almond milk. The only thing is that like... There is five servings in here, but I could literally have this in like two servings. Um, it's just so good. And, but the thing is it's so filling too, since it's like fatty and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bowl of this. Okay, so I just answered some emails and got some work done. It is 12.30 now, so I'm prepping lunch because it is Monday, so it's meal prep Monday. So I'll show you what I'm making for lunch, but the builder got back to us and they're able to meet at 7 p.m. tonight, which is great. So I'll definitely get to update you guys in this vlog about that. And then also, I feel like every single time I do a vlog and I say I have a, a client that I'm personal training after work, they always cancel because today he canceled. So, which is fine because I got to move up my massage earlier. So I have like more time in my day to get things done. But yeah, let's show you what I'm making for lunch. See, I'm being super lazy this week with my meals because I just like feel like I don't feel like making something crazy. So I'm just having chicken that's in the air fryer right now. And then there's sweet potato I'm about to put in the microwave. I just do Japanese sweet potato, poke it with a fork a few times, wrap it in damp paper towel, and I'll put it in the microwave for about six minutes. And then in here I'm steaming broccoli. It's a lot of broccoli because I'm going to have it with this meal. It's just like potato, broccoli, and chicken. Then for But then for dinner, I'm going to do banza pasta. So I got that. And then I'm going to mix that with ground beef, uh, this marinara sauce, and then throw in some of that steamed broccoli. So super easy and quick and simple. So I'll show you when this meal is done. Okay, so that was super quick. It took like 20 minutes. There's the chicken. I just put like some sea salt, pepper, garlic powder on it, and then the broccoli and sweet potato. Um, and then if I don't feel like this is enough, I might put barbecue sauce on it or something, but usually when it's freshly out of the air fryer, it tastes really good. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I have some meetings, so I probably will catch up with you after. Okay, it's now almost 4.30. I finished up meetings and I actually just got some stuff from that brand Joa Brown, which you've probably been targeted on Instagram before. 
And yeah, I got a few things from there. And I'm going to do a little collective haul of Joa Brown. I got some stuff from Ali Yoga and maybe Aritzia too. Um, so stay tuned for that soon. But yeah, um, a listing just appeared in the town we wanted about a house that was literally exactly our price point and the style we want. So that's really confusing. So we're going to, um, I was just like talking to a realtor about that. Um, but yeah, we are meeting with our builder at 7 p.m. tonight. So I'm going to first see if they can get the price down to our price point and then just kind of like compare like taxes and like what we can get in that house versus this house. Cause obviously, you know, if we can get to our price point then we would prefer to just build our own house. But yeah, lots of things to compare and big decisions. So I'm going to shower because my massage guy comes in 30 minutes and I smell. So I will probably not see you until like it's time for that phone call. Okay, so it's like 6.40, 6.40 right now. And I just finished prepping dinner. I had my massage and it was so good. Um, but yeah, this was such a quick meal. It's just the Vanza pasta, ground beef, broccoli, and sauce. So we're gonna eat this. And then we have that call at seven. Okay, it's now actually like almost a week later. It's Sunday. It was such a long week. I had just so much to do at work. And then on top of that, figuring out everything with the house. It was just a lot um so now though it's all done so i can give you a full rundown as to an update so that night we had a call with the builder and they were so nice they were um had a other people interested but because they really liked us and we were the first ones to tour it they wanted to give us a chance first so the issue was that they wanted a certain amount of financing up front which would have been more than 20 percent down which we just don't have so um we talked to a ton of different lenders over the span of two days and then I finally found one that was able to finance the construction up front, which is not typical. Um, but the way that it worked out was basically like the first year of construction, we would be owing in like just the interest of the mortgage during the construction. Um, and then once the construction was done, then we would start paying our mortgage. So it was just ended up, you just end up owing a lot more doing it that way. And then not only that, just when we looked at our finances and what our month, what the monthly mortgage, taxes, home insurance, all that would be. It was just like a lot definitely to start doing like right now where we're at. Um, like just to give you perspective in New Jersey, we're looking in Bergen County just because that's where we're from and the taxes are crazy there. So um, on average, it's around $25,000 a year for taxes on your house. So that's an extra 2,000 a month on your, on top of your mortgage. So it's just like, oh, that's a lot of money. So now we're just like, really don't know what we wanna do. We kinda are just gonna like get, put our search on hold. Cause we're like, oh, what if we buy something and then like sell it in five years for a little bit more money. But then I'm thinking like, how do you even make your money back if you're paying that much on taxes? Like you're gonna have to sell your house for so much more to just even make back the money you were spending on taxes. So I'm like, why wouldn't I just rent until and save up until I'm ready to start, um, until I have enough down payment for a house. And then I can start like paying my mortgage and taxes on the house that's actually mine. I don't know. So we're just like honestly really confused now and our house search is on hold. <laughs> so um, we actually had 10 days left to decide if we want to renew our lease in the apartment we're in now, which we love. We've been in this building for four years. Um, so we are probably going to renew one year and then next year to start, start our search again. And hopefully over the, this next year, we'll figure out like what exactly we want to do, whether that be to buy something in the town that we want as like a starter home, or maybe just like rent something up there. Um, because I want to be settled up there before I start having kids because it's like right down the road from our parents. And I just like, don't like being in this area, honestly, cause it's like not, um, like I want like a yard for Paisley and like stuff like that. And just, I like driving. So I like driving to the grocery store and it's really hard to just drive around here. So yeah, but for the time being, like, you know, I'm going to enjoy being in the area. I have a lot of clients down here that I wouldn't have if I moved because it's just like way different clientele up there. And it's just so easy to train in my apartment gym. So yeah, that's the update on that. Um, and yeah, I guess that, won't be talking about house stuff for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to enter that giveaway. I still need to do that. Uh, so like I said, just comment down below your Instagram handle 
and follow me on Instagram and I'll pick a winner in about a week. So good luck and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.